After a busy Thursday night of football, there was action again tonight in Southwest Virginia as the regular season wraps up this weekend. Eastside was hosting Union. Neither team playing the team they had on the schedule because of COVID exposure at Ridgeview and J.I. Burton. Virginia kickoff brought to you by FriendshipCars.com. We start in Colburn for a non-conference matchup between Union and Eastside, a good Wise County battle. Union with the second quarter lead, but the Spartans put a strong drive together. Bryson Shepard takes a handoff, explodes through the line, and watch out. They rip him down all the way at the 10-yard line for the huge game. A couple of plays later, they try to throw one in the end zone, but it's intercepted by Corbin Jenkins to stop the drive in its tracks, and we head to halftime. Second half, Spartans get the ball first. This time, they finish the deal. Will Stansbury avoids the pressure, throws one up. Up for Jordan Gray in the back of the end zone. Big touchdown cuts at the 14 6 with the Bears punch right back. Peyton Honeycutt is a dangerous weapon for his team and only a sophomore. He breaks free, tacks on 48 yards to the house. Union cruises from there, beating Eastside 35 13. Both teams finish the regular season at 4 and 2. Making our way west, Thomas Walker hosting Castlewood and the Pioneer cheerleaders were bringing plenty of enthusiasm, but the Blue Devils were making it pretty hard to keep the energy up on third and 20. Layden Taylor rolls out on the play action, firing this one out to MJ Carter. The wideout finds a seam up the sideline and he's gone. The score puts the Devils ahead 23 to 6 in the middle of the second quarter. Pioneers responds. Zach Kidwell scrambles right, has plenty of time to heave this one downfield to a wide open Jason Calden. The senior finally gets lassoed down inside the 30. On the very next play, TW gives the cheerleader something to scream about. Kidwell gives it off to Elijah Harbor on the corner. Perfect blocking from the big boys up front as the wide out finds the foot race, wins the foot race to the end zone. But just like the Pioneers ground game, the Devils were doing work with their backs as well, especially Jeremiah Allen. The senior trudges his way through a couple of wimpy tackles as he put six on the board. Castlewood led 30 to 12 at the break. It was a big night for Landon Taylor, chalking up 300 total yards, racked up five touchdowns. Devils won 51 to 12. Historic night in Damascus. Holston taking on Chihaui, looking to win his first outright district championship since 1984, having Coheem Brooks give them a good chance. He is electric at quarterback with his arm and legs. He scrambles here, cuts back to the middle of the field, finds the end zone for the early lead. The Cavs are hungry tonight. They go for two. Breck throws a perfect ball to Logan Walden on the fade. Corner has no shot. It's 8 nothing. Warriors try to get it going. Jordan Williams takes the carry. Good old hole by the old line to pick up the first down, but that drive would stall in the Cavs poured it on. Jordan Ezell punches it in from a couple of yards out. Holston wins the Hoagie Eagie District with a 35-0 win over Chihaui. First time in 37 years.